this is amazing now you can create chatbot for your wordpress website which is capable of answering questions with your own custom data which means data from the website or any of your custom data you are able to create a chatbot like this and you are able to ask questions and this data is from your own website i can ask give me autogen code and this gets data from my website and it displays the code similarly i can ask give me crew ai code and it goes through the data i fed before using rag process and it prints the data you are also able to publish this chatbot on your own website so in this to create a chatbot we are going to see how you can download data from your website load the data to your chatbot configure the pipeline when the user asks a question the chatbot is able to respond and finally deploy that on your website that's exactly what we are going to see today let's get started hi everyone i'm really excited to show you about how to deploy a chatbot on your wordpress website or any website this is going to follow the same process of a rag application where you're going to feed your own data that is data from your website and it's going to automatically divide that to chunks then convert those to embeddings and get that stored in a database so when the chatbot is active and when the user asks question to the chatbot it gets information from its own database and respond to the user's query but we don't need to handle any of this we have a no code solution called vector shift it's a ai automations platform you are able to create pipelines and automate the process you are able to provide instruction to the large language model that will then use the data which we upload and finally give a response thanks to vector shift who is kindly sponsoring this video i'm going to take you through step by step on how to export your data from wordpress upload that to the knowledge base create a pipeline like this and deploy it on your website additionally i'm going to show you how you can integrate that with slack where you can directly ask questions and it is able to respond but before that i regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my youtube channel so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you this platform is not only for creating chatbot but when you receive an email or any trigger you are able to search the database accordingly run a workflow then finally respond to that email automatically you can also create a cron job to automatically check your email or any other website and send the relevant information to tools such as slack and it will curate it for you first go to vectorshift.ai website there you can click get started there you will be taken to the dashboard which looks like this in that you have different options such as pipelines marketplace storage automation chatbots evaluation search transformation firstly you can see marketplace that's where you got default templates for example blog article generator and we can test it by running it by providing topic audience tone and example text it is able to generate a blog post if you want a basic chatbot template then you can use this and you can see the way the pipeline works similarly there are various different examples syncing with database company report generator chat pdf but for our chatbot i'm going to use search a knowledge base template so if you view the pipeline we are using a knowledge base and the large language model you can click use as template now we are inside the editor you can even go through step by step components adding one by one these are more flexible you can change as you like so in this pipeline first the user is going to ask a question then it is going to search the knowledge base that's our website data then based on that context the large language model is going to respond like this you can change your large language model to any large language models provided here you have knowledge base you can integrate this with any of these applications you can load data from any of these locations and you got many other options so first step is creating the pipeline which is complete now we need to add a knowledge base so we need to download the data from our website this is the dashboard for wordpress website there you can see tools export then you can choose the content you want to export and click export file then it will automatically get downloaded once that is done i'm going to use npx wordpress export to markdown this is the package which i'm going to use to convert the wordpress export to markdown you need to download npx before running this command now i'm going to click enter now it's asking the path or the location where the wordpress file is there and this is the location and then i'm going to click enter next it's asking which folder i need to convert these files i'm going to say markdown and then click enter create year folders i'm going to click no month folders no 
folder for each post, no. Prefix, the date, yes. Attach images, no. Scrape images, no. Custom post type, yes. Now, inside the markdown folder, you got the post exported. Inside post, I got the list of markdown files exported from my website. Now, I'm going to type this command, cat, and then merge all the documents together, and then click. Now, here is the merged data from all the posts, as you can see here, it's a lot of data there. Now, we need to feed this data to the chatbot or vector. So let's go back to the Vectorship panel. There you got storage. I'm going to click the files, click new and upload file. And here is the merged file. I'm uploading it and I got the file here. Now go to the knowledge base, create new knowledge base, new data, Mervin Prison Webs, and then confirm. Now here add document and choose the file which you have just uploaded. That is merged.md and click add. Now the ingestion process is happening which means in the background, all the documents got chunked, embedded and stored in the database. Now we are going to go back to the pipeline and here in the knowledge base reader, we are going to click the drop down. New data is the data which we have just uploaded. That's it, only that step. Everything else is prepared for us. The user is going to ask question and it's going to use this new data uploaded. Then it's sent to the large language model. Finally, we get a response. Now we are ready to Test this. To test, click the play icon at the top, run pipeline. Here I can ask, a, give me autogen code and click run. And you can see the response here is giving the full information. So it passed the test because it gave the information which found on the website. Now I'm going to click close. Now it's ready to deploy. So click the deploy changes and it has been deployed. Now let's publish this to our website. At the top, there's a deploy as icon is there. Just click that. Here you got different option chatbot automation and search. I'm going to use chatbot. There I'm going to give a chatbot name, Mervin Prison, and description as Mervin Prison, keeping all the other things same and clicking. Now I'm going to the functionality. There I can change option, such as I can change the name of the chatbot to Mervin Prison, then go to the styling, change the color if you want, then click save. Now finally, we are going to export that by clicking export button. Here you can click the deploy button. Now the chatbot is ready. I'm going to copy the embed in website code. So this code, I'm going to copy that. Now go to the website, appearance, editor. There you can go to the templates, single posts. I'm going to add that to the footer. And here is the code. Just paste it here and click. That's it. Now it's already. I'm going to view the site. So this is a local host site for testing. So I deploy that here. Now I can ask question. Give me autogen code. And now you can see it's selling me the steps and also it's creating me the code based on the context provided. This is exciting. Now let's verify this by going to our markdown file. Let's take an example, such as fine tuning. I'm going to ask, give me fine tuning code and click enter. And it is giving me the code. This is based on the data provided because you can see the name also is exactly the file name which I provided. Now you can download the data, ingest the data, to the chatbot, deploy the chatbot on your website to make it more user-friendly. Without a chatbot, to get one information, it might be really hard. But with the chatbot, it makes things easier and everyone feels more welcoming. Finally, I want to show you how you can deploy this in Slack. On the left-hand side, you got the chatbots option. This is the latest one which we created. I'm going to edit that. There, I'm going to click the export. There, you got the Slack. You can even connect to any other. Click connect Slack account. Now, you might need to allow permission. Now it's all ready. Now I can ask, give me autogen code. And it gave me this code. Now you have successfully integrated vector shift in Slack. Imagine you have tons of documentation about your company. And with this, any of your employees are able to ask questions on their document. Get 20% discount when you enter Mervin Prison while you check out.
I'm really excited about it. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe. And thanks so much.